the sequence editor contains tabbed windows and panes that we can float we can dock them we can resize them and we can also hide them We can customize the pane and tab layout to optimize development and debugging task. We can reset the user interface configuration state of the panes in the sequence editor by going to the view menu and from there selecting reset UI configuration and then pressing yes, which resets to default configuration all modifications previously made to menus, toolbars and the docking state of panes. When we launch the sequence edit editor for the first time or when we reset the sequence editor configuration, the layout of the panes defaults to the small screen example configuration or the large screen example configuration depending on the screen resolution. Test and consider screen with a resolution of 1280 by 1024 or greater to be large. We can go to configure and sequence editor options to launch the sequence editor options dialog box and select a sequence editor configuration. On the UI configuration tab, we can select an example configuration in the saved configurations control and then click the load selected button. To apply that configuration, let's revert to large example click ok to close the sequence editor options dialog box the insertion palette pane in the test stand sequence editor displays items that we can insert into a sequence file the pane contains a step types list and a templates list. The step types list displays the step type menu and the templates list contains user defined template sequences, steps and variables.